following is a video on ethics and social responsibility by businesstraining.com. Greetings and welcome to Ethics and Social Responsibility. We are pleased you have selected our program to make you acquainted with what it means to have strong ethics and social responsibility. There are many areas where it would be easy to be unethical and some things are not only unethical, they are also illegal. Therefore, knowing what is unethical and illegal will assist you in being a successful, well-respected purchasing professional. Let's begin. When thinking of how to define ethics, you may think about how ethics applies to everyday life. One who has strong ethics will do what is right, legal, and moral. They will possess an unbending philosophy in any situation they are faced with. It is not very different in business. Ethics can be defined in many ways. Just to look at a few of the definitions. 1. The rules of conduct familiar to a particular area of endeavor or profession. 2. A system of moral principles. 3. Showing a behavior that displays morals and honesty in a professional setting. 4. Having good standards of principles when doing business. Bottom line, they all have the same basic premise. Doing what is legal, honest, and moral. For organizations, it is difficult to guarantee all business dealings by their staff are ethical in nature. Therefore, they have to do as much as they can to prevent unethical activities from taking place. Even then, things still happen that are not favorable in the sight of the organization. Many companies spend a lot of time and money documenting an, unethic er, documenting an ethical practice policy for the employees. Policy focuses on what is considered unacceptable ethical behavior and the repercussions of practicing this behavior. Usually, in new employee orientation, this policy is explained and the employee is asked to sign an agreement saying they have read, understand, and agree to, the following, to follow the rules of ethical behavior. Companies generally have one set of standards for all employees in order to, pre to prevent any misinterpretation of who is or who is not adhering to the correct rules. Bottom line, if there is any doubt whether an act is ethical, the question should be asked, is this act legal, moral, and a good business practice? If there's a chance the answer is no to any part of these questions, then don't practice with it. There are specific areas that are covered in a policy written on ethical responsibility. These are the same. It is safe to say ethics is the same no matter what industry you may be in. For the purchasing professional, one area that will always be included in the uh, policy pertaining to ethics is rules pertaining to receiving gifts. For many years, it was customary for suppliers to provide the purchasing department with a gift, especially during holidays when it is customary to give gifts. The rule generally states that suppliers cannot provide the purchasing professional with a gift over a certain dollar amount, if at all, because of the past corruption of suppliers offering extravagant, extra, extravagant gifts to ensure business. Many companies have totally banned receiving gifts of any value. For purchasing professionals, a supplier paying for entertainment on any level, including sports events, movies, etc., is not allowed. Although some organizations will allow limited entertainment, it is closely scrutinized if the supplier starts to be awarded a lot of business by the purchaser. Periodically, attending lunch with the supplier is not frowned upon as much as receiving other forms of gifts and entertainment. There may be other activities that the supplier and the purchaser may participate in that may not pertain to the business that the two organizations do together. These, these activities are usually acceptable to perform as long as they have no bearing on the business between the two companies. An example of this may be participating in a charity event. Travel, on the other hand, should be heavily scrutinized. For example, if the supplier is paying for the purchaser to visit their facility, that is fine. However, if the supplier is paying for the purchaser and his or her family to go to some exotic destination, this is not okay. Again, the person receiving the trip should ask the question, is this legal, moral, or honest? If the answer is no, then the ticket should not be accepted.
Bribery is defined as exchange of something that is not moral or ethical. Therefore, as a purchasing professional, accepting a bribe is never okay. In some states, there are laws that prohibit commercial bribery. This is an area that is critical to familiarize yourself with. Check your local laws. Also, most companies cover this subject in their corporate policy manual. Many times, as a purchasing professional, you will have access to confidential information of the company. As part of your professional status, you need to know how to handle this information and keep the corporate information confidential. Companies generally cover this aspect of the job in their policy manual also. Not only pertaining to purchasing, but to any other function within the organization that would have access to confidential information. The policy usually defines what is considered classified information. It would also state how this information should be handled by the employee and finally the company would enforce the policy. There would usually be a s very strict penalties for mishandling this information, including termination. When a person has an interest in the advancement of the organization, it has nothing to do with his or her employment. This is considered conflict of interest. This is one of the most common forms of unethical practices in organizations today. The motivation is generally of some form of monetary gain. The purchasing professional is responsible to inform management if any situation that could appear to be a conflict of interest. There are times when a purchasing person may feel they are dealing in an area that is not easily explained. Therefore, they should bring this to the attention of the management to prevent any questions later. An example would be if the purchasing professional is doing purchasing for a hospital and their spouse is a sales representative that, sales, that sells medical supplies to that hospital. This may be questionable. In order to prevent any misunderstandings, the sales agent, your spouse, could conduct business with a different purchasing employee. Usually the purchasing professional has to sign an agreement with the organization they are working for that states conflict of interest as being unacceptable. Therefore, if the as a purchasing expert, you not only have a responsibility to practice ethical behavior, you also have a social responsibility to your organization, your community, and your profession. As a result, you have to make, your, make sure your suppliers are socially responsible. This is vital in the instance of doing business on an international level. You do not want to do business with a company and then find out they have a large staff of child laborers. You have an ethical and social responsibility to do what is right, just, and fair. You have an obligation to your organization to obey the law in performing your daily duties. Also. You want to make sure your suppliers are f following environmentally friendly practices in their daily performance. It is your responsibility to help others create a better world, a better environment, and better labor conditions. Social responsibility is vital to a lot of areas. It is crucial for you as a professional to keep yourself informed of what is happening in the world around you to make sure your company is well protected in this area. If there is any negative information revealed about a company that is making product for you, the negativity will be attached to your product, not the supplier. This could cost your company's sales revenue to decrease or maybe even its ultimate demise.